Zach, thank you. Um, my world is uh, leadership development, and the magnum opus that I've been working on focuses on building a culture of caring. <clears throat> it's a big thing, building a culture of caring. My question for you is, in all of the, the work that you've done, you've seen the best, you've seen the worst, what would be three to five things that you could highlight as optimal in organizations as, wow, this is a great culture, this is how to establish a great culture, this is how to keep a great culture? I think when the leader has a clear vision that everyone knows, now sometimes visions change because conditions change, like the pandemic changed things a lot. Uh, but if they have a mission and a vision, a set of clear values, a set of principles that everyone can re relate to, because conditions can change, vision can change, but if your values stay consistent, I think that's really important. It allows the people in the culture to feel like they can make decisions because they're aligned with those values. That's one thing. I think the leader has to walk their talk. You know, there was a study I saw once with the person that was most late to all meetings was the CEO of the company usually, you know. So you're wanting everyone to be there on a time and you're not. So, you know, walk the talk, be who you say you are. That's important. I think listening is critical. Most leaders don't listen very well. They pontificate. They tell people what they're going to do to listen to concerns as well as to uh, the, you know, here's how we need to do things and here's what's working, here's what's not working to provide a space for that. A friend of mine wrote a book recently and he has a chapter now called Listen Till You Drop. And the idea was he made a big mistake and his whole organization, which was international, was really upset. And he brought everyone together, it was like the key leaders. And he said, okay, I screwed up. Tell me what you think, what, what do you need to do? And at the end of the day, they all got so tired of talking about it, they let it go. And then they talked about where we want to go next. But a lot of times we start kind of solving it or talking before they're finished talking. I think men do that more than women, if you read Men Are From Mars, Women Are From sure. you know, Venus, you know. Um, so I think that's important. I believe that acknowledging people's, uh, what's the word I want, successes, you know, that when people do well, that you acknowledge that. You know, I remember I worked as a Chicago education teacher in the Chicago school system, and a superintendent at that time says, when anything doesn't work, it's my fault. When anything does work, it's, they get the credit for it. You know, so that's, I think, a good part of that is to do. And I think just being, caring is an is a issue of the heart, yes. you know. And when you talk about caring, there has to be empathy. I have to know, and ex I don't have to experience everything you experience, but I need to care. And that means that I have my heart open. And I think a lot of leaders don't. And, you know, they're all up in their head. They're all focused on the bottom line and what the stock market's going to do. And, you know, I, I saw, I, I was once in a seminar, we were meditating, and I saw American business. The stock market's afraid of the investors. The CEO's afraid of the, uh, the board. Right? The board's afraid of the investors. The CEO's afraid of the board. The C-suite's afraid of the CEO. The managers are afraid of them. And the per people on the bottom line are afraid of everyone above them. It's a culture of fear. Yeah, it doesn't work. No. It doesn't work. And so I think just, you know, the last thing I would say is bring joy and fun and play into the, into the environment. When people feel like they're having fun, they're more likely to want to play. I love that. Thank you so much. That's so aligned with the, the direction I'm taking my leaders. That's, that's wonderful. Thank you, Jack. You're very welcome. Appreciate it. Amazing. My pleasure. Thank you.